everyone this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to see some problems on fixed points or invariant points okay so let's get started first problem find invariant points of transformation W or omega equals to 1 plus Z by 1 minus Z. Okay. Solution. Given transformation. Omega equals to 1 plus Z by 1 minus Z. Okay. Now we are going to replace this omega by Z. Replace omega by z. So this becomes z equals to 1 plus z by 1 minus z. So we can write it as z into 1 minus z which is equals to 1 plus z. Okay. So this implies z into 1 z. Minus z into z, z square equals to 1 plus z. So, this z and z gets cancelled. So, we will get minus z square equals to 1. You can write it as z square equals to minus 1. Since we know that i square equals to minus 1. So, you can replace this minus 1. With i square. You will get z square equals to i square. From this you will get z equals to plus or minus i. Okay. These are the fixed points. Therefore z equals to plus or minus i are the fixed points of the given transformation. Therefore, z equals to plus or minus i are the fixed points or invariant points of the given transformation. Second problem, find invariant points of the transformation omega equals to 6z minus 9 by z. Okay, so we are given a transformation. Omega equals to 6z minus 9 by z. Now we are going to replace omega by z. Okay. Replace omega by z. So this becomes z equals to 6z minus 9 by z. Okay. So this implies z into z, z square equals to 6z minus 9. You can write it as z square minus 6z plus 9 equals to 0. And this can be written as z square minus 3z minus 3z plus 9 equals to 0. So take z common from the first two terms. You will get z into z minus 3. Now take minus 3 common from the next two terms. So you will get minus 3 into z minus 3. Okay. 3 into z is 3z. Minus 3 into minus. Minus 3 into z is minus 3z. Minus into minus plus 3 into 3, 9. Okay. So this implies. Now take z minus 3 common from both the terms. You will get 
z minus 3 into z minus 3 equals to 0. Okay. Or you can write it as directly z square minus 2 into 3 into z plus 3 square equals to 0 from this step. So you can write directly z minus 3 whole square equals to 0. From this z minus 3 into z minus 3 equals to 0. So this implies z minus 3 equals to 0 and z minus 3 equals to 0. You will get z equals to 3 and here also z equals to 3. So you will get z equals to 3 comma 3 which are the fixed points. Therefore z equals to 3 comma 3 are the fixed points of the given transformation. Therefore, z equals to 3 comma 3 are the fixed points or invariant points of the given transformation. Okay. Now coming to Third problem. Omega equals to 2z plus 6 divided by z plus 7. So given transformation is omega equals to 2z plus 6 by z plus 7. So now we are going to replace omega by z. So this becomes z equals to 2z plus 6 divided by z plus 7. From this you will get z into z plus 7 equals to 2z plus 6 z into z z square plus 7z equals to 2z plus 6. Now take this two times to left hand side. We will get z square plus 7z minus 2z minus 6 equals to 0. This implies z square plus 7 minus 2 5. 5z minus 6 equals to 0. You can write it as z square plus 6z minus z minus 6 equals to 0. Now take z common from the first two terms. You will get z into z minus z plus 6. Sorry. z plus 6. Now take minus 1 common from the next two terms. You will get z plus 6 which is equals to 0. Okay, you are having z plus 6 in both the terms, so you can take it common, z plus 6. If you take z plus 6 common, you will get z plus 6 into z minus 1. Okay. So from this you will get z plus 6 equals to 0, z minus 1 equals to 0, z equals to minus 6, z equals to 1. So therefore, this implies z equals to minus 6 comma 1. Therefore, z equals to minus 6 comma 1 are the fixed points. of the given transformation. Okay. Now coming to fourth problem.
find the invariant points of the transformation omega equals to 2z minus 5 by z plus 4. Given transformation is Omega equals to 2z minus 5 by z plus 4. Now replace omega by z. So we get z equals to 2z minus 5 by z plus 4. So this becomes z into z plus 4 equals to 2z minus 5, z into z is z square plus 4z equals to 2z minus 5. Now take these two terms to left hand side, you'll get z square plus 4z minus 2z plus 5 equals to 0. Okay. So this becomes z square, 4z minus 2z is 2z. Plus 5 equals to 0. Okay. So now, we are going to find the rules of this equation with the help of quadratic equation. If you are having a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then the solution of this quadratic equation is given by x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay. Now compare the given equation, sorry, the actual equation with this quadratic equation, then you will get a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 5. Okay. So, you'll get z equals to minus b that is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square. b square which is 2 square 4 minus 4 into a. 1 into c is 5 divided by 2a. Okay, so this implies z equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 5 is a 20 divided by 2. This is equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16 by 2. So, this equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of. Now, we can write minus 16 as minus 1 into 16. Okay. So, you can write it as square root of minus 1 into square root of 16. Since we know the square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is i. So, this equals to minus 2 plus or minus i into 4 divided by 2. Now we can take 2 common from these 2 terms from the numerator. So if you take 2 common or minus 2, no, 2 common, then you will get minus 1 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So finally you will get minus 1 plus or minus 2i, which are the Fixed points of the given transformation omega. Therefore, z equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2i are the fixed points of the given transformation. Okay. 
this completes the problem. In this video, we have seen some problems on fixed point or invariant points. Hope you will understand. We'll see in the next video. Until then.